Hi everyone, my name is Shahar Hartman and I'm a tutor here at NCAP Mastery. I'm here to tell you how I went from opening a guide to scoring a 516 in 30 days. It all started when I was boarding a plane back from my study abroad to America. I realized that if I don't wanted to apply in that upcoming cycle, that I would need to take a test in under 30 days. And so what I did while waiting to board the plane was that I downloaded all the free guides I could online. And when I got on the plane, I opened what I downloaded in the meanwhile. As I started parsing through all the information, I realized that this was not the right way to do it. That what I was doing on the plane would be negligible to my studying and I would just be lost upon test day. So I closed all the guides I had downloaded and I decided that once I landed, I would go to sleep I would wake up with a brand new plan. And I decided that what I needed to do was create an organized manner to my studying. I created a mistake tracker for myself. I started looking up YouTube videos on what I could study. I started organizing my life to become this boot camp. This test isn't easy as you know, and to tackle it, I needed to create a plan for myself. To begin with my plan, I went after subjects I didn't really have time in college to go after, and so I focused on those. For my practice exams, I decided that I would need to do one a week if I wanted to be able to reach my target score. And I decided that if I had hit the target score in my practice exam, then I would take my test 30 days later. To conduct my boot camp, all I would need to do is study technique because with all the content that there is on the exam, I would drown myself in trying to memorize everything I could. And so I decided that I was mainly going to focus on technique while also dealing with content. My first couple days of studying was more so studying content in the morning through YouTube videos and then watching other people online on what they did to tackle passages. I want to know what different strategies were out there and what would work for me best. And afterwards, once I felt more comfortable actually going through the passages and answering the questions, I delved more into the content. I wanted to make sure that I was solid in my foundation before I started taking a practice exam. What was important for me throughout all of this, and I very much advise you to do so as well, was take care of my mental health. And that meant that I wanted to get into the mode of taking MCAT every single day. I calculated how much time it would take me to drive from my home to testing center. I would wake up even earlier than that every single day to move my whole circadian rhythm back. Afterward, every single task I've did in my life, I want to do it from start to finish. The MCAT is such a long exam. If you stop halfway, you're never gonna do well. If you get tired throughout it, you need to learn how to bring yourself back to your peak levels. And so every single task, whether it be running or cooking, reading anything, I want to study both for myself, such as 50 pages, and do those 50 pages, not stop halfway. After the first five days, I took my first practice exam. I scored a 502. And it wasn't as much as I'd wanted, but it sent a baseline for myself so I could see how I can improve. I saw what questions I got wrong. I went through each question meticulously, going back to the passage, seeing where the answer was and what I could have done better next time. I kept track of all my mistakes in my mistake tracker. I wrote down why I got it wrong and what I could do better next time. Was it just a content mistake that I just should have studied more? Or was it a lack of detail in the passage that I forgot to look at? And after that first exam, I compiled myself a study guide. What do I need to do? to keep on excelling at this exam. Once I had that down, I decided, I don't know, continue waking up early. I decided to start running in the mornings, meditating afterwards, cooking myself nutritious meals. I need to take care of myself. As I've said time and time again, studying isn't just the content. It's not just the passages. The content, the passages, and yourself. If you don't feel it the best, you're not gonna be able to score as well as you want to. So that's why I need to tackle all three of those items. With only 25 days left for my exam, I needed to make sure that I was seeing benchmarks every single day and seeing improvement with every single exam. There was no time to stop. Saying that though, no time to stop seems daunting. It seems scary, just like the MCAT seems brutal. But again, it's important to look at yourself and reflect on what's going well and what's going poorly. Are you not in it right now? Are you, do you need a break? Do you need time to just go watch Netflix, go a walk, eat a delicious meal, be with your friends? If so, that's okay. I didn't force myself to be burnt out. Burning yourself out, burning myself out would have devastated my boot camp. I wouldn't be able to do what I did. People always ask me during my little boot camp session, did it feel like the days were becoming blurred? Did you always remember what you were doing? And my response to them was, it never came blurred. My days felt unique because every morning I would wake up, I would run, I would come back, I would have a good nutritious breakfast, I would feel energized, I would go meditate and I would feel reflective and reflect on what had just gone on that morning, what had gone on the previous day and what I wanted to happen 
that coming day. I wanted to know where I was at so I could take that and build upon that. Without those meditative moments, I don't know if I could have done what I had done. I don't know if I could have scored as well as I did because I needed that time to reflect upon myself, to rebuild my energy and to lengthen my stamina. It's all one big study session. That whole month is studying, whether it be in the kitchen, whether it be in the field, whether it be in front of my computer, it's all mentally preparing myself for the exam. And so that brought me to my next practice exam and I scored 10 points higher from a 502 and went to a 512. I felt confident. I felt like I could keep on scoring higher. And so I kept on pushing. I kept on doing everything that I had been doing, making sure I had time to myself, making sure that I was viewing content, making sure I was practicing strategy. Something that helped me increase my score even more so was understanding that it's a multiple choice exam. Yes, we've spent three or four years studying all these different scientific concepts, but at the end of the day, the answer is on the page. It's either A, B, C, or D. If you make that connection, something in the passage, then you're most likely golden. I have felt that if I had been able to find throughout the whole text, throughout the complex material, a sentence or two that led to my answer choice, then I was most likely right. And I wanted to use that knowledge to try to boost my score even more so. And so I continued on, continued running, continued eating well, continued sleeping, continued reading, and continued studying. Studying passages, studying content, and studying technique. I never stopped watching those YouTube videos of other people practicing passages because I wanted to see what other strategies I could keep on learning just to maximize my score. I kept on doing this and I saw improvements with every single week. With the week before my exam, my final practice exam, I got a 521 on my practice exam during the AMC and I felt ready to take my final test. I felt great coming to this exam. And all it took, a little under 30 days. And I think that you can do it too. You might not want to do it as fast and rigorous as I had. Maybe if I'd done it again, I wouldn't have either. But if you want to succeed in the MCAT, I suggest you do everything that we just said. It's a lot of things to keep track of in your head, but you can do it. And if you want to succeed at the MCAT, I do think that you should make sure that you're trained to become a better version of yourself, not just for this exam, but for the rest of your life. And it's through that that you will achieve a higher score on your exam. Now, if you want my help, I'm a tutor here at MCAT Mastery, and I would love to be able to help you and the rest of the tutors here at Great as well. We all have our individual journeys, and I would love to help you out in the future. My name is Shahar Hartman. I know that you'll do well on the MCAT. Thank you.